Hi guys, it's Tori and we are at Mavro Worldwide and I am joined by all three of the guys from Five Day Project. I'm going straight in there with what you've actually created. Yeah. How do you feel they've come out? Mm. We've, I've discussed with you individually kind of like your favorite songs and why, but I'd quite like for you guys to talk about it together a little piece more. I honestly think they're all fucking dope, mm. bro. I think like, but they're all super different. Mm. They're not even remotely in the same bag as, mm. as each other. For me, every, every one of them was like just... I don't know, the process of making all of them was just fun, funny, and fucking frustrating. Fun? Fun. fun. Maybe for you. Hey. I'm not, I thought it was hey. fun. Hey. I think, hey. I think I for me. You know, fun, you fuck. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fun. Like, Lord Give Me Peace was fun, bruv. That was. Hold on. We finished that in like what? 20 minutes, hours, bruv. That was a quick one. That was a quick one. That was here, right? You get what I'm saying? So you um. got that. Black Men Cry, obviously, that was a bit of a that was a bit of a journey. Oh, that was fun. Let, I want you to talk through these a little bit more though, because obviously okay. you guys know the experience that you've gone through with each of these songs. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so let's start. I'm uh, cool to run through them if you man want to jump in, add your two senses. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Lord Give Me Peace was the first tune that we made. I think um, I don't even know. I don't even remember where the inspiration for that tune come in. I think we were just having a. No, I it had a sample. Yeah, you had the sample. Idea. I had a melody. And then for some reason, I think that was the one song I can say, yeah, it just, for me, it just clicked. I just yeah. heard that line. Mm. Um, and then off, the, off of that, it was a Damien you kind Marley of ran with it as a concept. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jay Marley. came in and yeah, wanted yeah. to do like a Damien Marley, like spiritual, but still kind of like hard mm -hmm. type of shit. And then, you came and then once we got the samples, yeah. the melody just kind of that. stuck. And then mm -hmm. we had a conversation. I remember when we were just talking about being in that place where like we're finding don't know, just being at peace with ourselves and like mm -hmm. who we are and type of shit. So then when Bradley, do you know what I mean, come with the initial melody, it like that, well. it just it just wrote itself, brother. Yeah. That's what how it unfolded. Say, that first track was a deception. <laughs> it <laughs> lied was. to we because we, we did that first song and thought, ah, oh, this is an edgy. We're it turns out, don't worry about it. Hey, we are. We got this. Yo, and in the rest of the real. process, what, the second song? Oh, gosh. Which one was number two, though? Guava, I think. Guava. Guava. Yeah. Let me tell you about Guava. Who started? I'd like to know the Let inspiration me tell you about Guava. behind nah, Guava. Guava, yeah. Wizzy had the beat or whatever, <laughs> and then Brad, Bradley had a melody. And off of the back of the melody, all I could keep hearing was apple juice and guava. I have no yeah. idea why, but that's all I could fucking hear, yeah? <laughs> and then um, I think Bradley had like something like, oh, she nasty. And I, that's right. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? And in my yeah. mind, I was she like, oh, nasty. it'd be super dope to do something like, like about fruit. girls, but like fruit related. Fruit ninja. So like we started like building something, <laughs> but like we were proper struggling to write the, like, this the last, last couple of lines of the hook. the hook. And then I kind of just thought, because I don't like... <clears throat> when something becomes work. I don't like when I have to rack my brain. So I thought, okay, well, let's just skip this for a moment or let it, let's put it to the side, come back to it and work on another track. Mm. But Alex was determined. Not so. Alex determined. Do you know what? No, do you know what's my number? I leave nothing behind. Interestingly, that. nah, he doesn't know, does he? Sometimes <laughs> yeah. all it what? takes for a song to come together is literally for you to leave the room and come back. Mm. Because Alex came back with the last two lines. I and just went to the bar for a verse. Not a boom. And yeah. a verse. Yeah. Went to the, he comes back with a two lines, a verse. And he goes, oh yeah, by the way, I said it was an eight, but now you got to write a 16. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll be back out like, huh? Yeah. I just knew. But, but I think the big thing that we're missing, yeah, what? is fam. Huh? These two. Huh? No, this is so corny. This is so fucking corny. This is so corny. I'm like, this is so corny. This is so fucking corny. That's all I could get. No, I'm not to making it. I'm not doing it. It's so corny. It's so corny. So corny. Blah, blah, blah. We come in the second day. Oh, yeah, Ooh, Ooh, procedure Ooh, like what? I'm like you man, fucking man. idiots. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this shit would work, fam. That, that was funny. That, it was a, that was a funny it's catchy. process. After that, what was that? The third tune was either, um, I think it was Ain't Got A Rush. Yeah. If I'm right. Anyways, Wiz, Wiz kind of left the room, took a minute to himself, come back, started composed making this himself. shit. Yeah, composed himself, started <laughs> making the shit. But I think as soon as he made the beat, we all kind of knew, like it, gave, it gives you that like, 90s like every time when i close my eyes i picture like you know that iconic video of like tupac going into the vegas fight the mike tyson that. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah, like yeah, just yeah, lights yeah. and just like that kind yeah, of vibe yeah. and then i remember jay coming forward with like this like 
like almost like Biggie flow to like yeah. into the tune. And I was like, oh, right, this shit's got a fucking like a flex on it here. And then Brad went crazy on the verse. Mm. I think that one, that well, that one to me was probably like the most pro- rounded. Yeah, and most yeah. fun to just do. Like even me and Jay having that back and forth verse at the end. Like it's just Jeez. I don't know. It just yeah. like swells. I had the melody. Nice. I had the hook, and then I just couldn't get my head around because of the key. Yeah. So then once that we found that, it just kind of everything that was rolled. It. Everything, everything rolled. rolled. Yeah. But then we yeah we had blinds come in. I feel like you should lead that because he that's you that's you, he's your yeah, boy. Yeah. So um, shout out to blinds came through. One of my producers, new in the game but very hot. He's um, sick. Yeah. Big up He's yourself. Got, I'm so, busy. Big up yourself a hundred times. <laughs> so we had blinds come in, um, and this was day three. Mm. So by this point, we've had day one, we've had day two with Wizzy. Both amazing sessions, but we tired. We were tired. Tired, tired is not yeah. the word. And I was <laughs> lagging out on my in. backside. My voice was going by this point. I started sneezing and things. <laughs> uh, <coughs> but yeah, <laughs> we came in in the morning. Coronavirus. Coronavirus <laughs> is real. <laughs> we came in at this point. And we kind of had more of an idea that we needed to come in something forefront before mm-hmm. the sessions mm-hmm. took off. Mm-hmm. So I think it was the end of day two we kind of rounded up by listening to a couple tune just vibing and then when vi- when blinds came in um it kind yeah. of like yeah just like, kind of flowed again yeah, it was like the first song couple, again i'm not gonna lie it felt like played a me. couple vibes and thought mm, is everyone feeling this and yeah blinds just went with it and took off yeah that was mm-hmm. it i was it. i enjoyed writing that one that interestingly you took that one by storm for me like mm. what the blinds yeah, yeah because mm. that's that that hook I, I, wasn't yeah, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting yeah. you to. Come. I wasn't one, expecting. I was one, one, one. I wasn't expecting you to come with the hook. And two, I wasn't expecting you to say you wanted to do the hook. Yeah. When, when I, well, the hook, you wanted to do the hook that I wasn't so I wasn't so taken aback by. But yeah. Just the whole. Went with it. Deliver. Yeah. Yeah. The delivered. delivery, yeah. like, bro. I don't know, bro. Vim. Chest. Uh, do yeah. you know what? Do you know what? I think. It, I think it came from. <laughs> ironically, it came from a place of lack of self-confidence because that type of beat and like tempo is not something that i would usually pick to rap on so, yeah. so i was kind of like ah probably let me not do a verse but i have a melody here and i could only think of one fucking melody and usually with verses i've got like 15 i can choose from so i could only think of one but like the melody it was i was like oh this might actually work for a hook so i said to brad like you call for me to like do something with the hook here and then boom and then when we started writing it i just kept having this like hit that lean i don't know why i don't yeah. dine on no lean i don't like doing no TikTok lean dance channel none of that but i was like this might nice. work though do you get what i'm saying so i was like all right cool what can this lean like necessarily mean to us and we were like oh yeah like you know what i mean like chef in the kitchen is kind of like us we're in the studio, studio we're working it's our hustle working. like it's our high Cooking like it's up. like our lean yeah. type of yeah. thing and i was like oh yeah cool this could be something that anyone cream who listens to it's gonna feel around, one way do you know what i mean we've had mm-hmm. girls come in here thinking we're talking about with that cream, cream like to do with them which is not mm-hmm. at all gonna look gonna lie that's what I thought do you get what i'm saying like jay was like yeah nah do you know what i mean cash rules everything <coughs> around me i was like yeah 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 that's cream, hard yeah. That. so like that kind of wrote with itself cream. and then for me i think hearing brad's verse on that was not something that that type of bag again is not something that i'm used to hearing mm-hmm. brad mm-hmm. do that the singy rap mm-hmm. do you know what i mean but like with dope no, flow that was, yeah that, that was hard I've told that, that was this, that was the challenge i was gonna say mm. by this point i was thinking okay do you know what? i'm gonna be doing the hooks and maybe a bridge yeah. <laughs> so i came in prepared now thinking okay i'm gonna be doing you the guys switched up pretty good Proper, on that and one. that verse wasn't necessarily hard to write it threw me off because i wasn't I was no longer in that mindset that, oh, I might have to write a verse. But it was fun to kind of, like, Jay helped out a lot in many ways. Nah, bro. I didn't... Nah, bro, you did. It was... Just in terms Take of, it. just in yeah. terms of, it, like, it, it encouraged me to try and write in a way or, or even deliver in a way I wouldn't necessarily do so. Nah, I love mm. my name, um, and he's a, he also from a, ra- a rapper's perspective, for you to tell a singer, do it slow, come in smooth. Things like that, do you know what I mean? For mm. Alex to be like, bro, I like the way you've done this for. So it it allowed me to look from a different perspective. And then when that verse mm. came through, I mm. felt like, oh, I belong on this song. Yeah, then Black Men Cry. <sighs> that was a came to, ironically, again, that was the same kind of process when I think we, we wanted to make another, like, I don't know, we had listened to like a few, like Jada Kiss, kind of like Dave E's yeah. type of job. We knew we wanted to do something like Pain, but 
when we started making a beat on the sample that Wiz had, that tempo is just not. It was. It was. It's like a one thirty, isn't it? It's, yeah, like exactly. a one, it's. It's a lot. That's a lot higher than the type of bag that I go into. So again, I, I already knew I wasn't about to do no chorus for this. And then he just threw it out. I, when we, I just knew, bro. Like, I, I put it on them. It wasn't even no soft thing. I was like, yeah, you lot don't talk about your feelings, bro. But not now, even on this like, was talk about some sad, like, not about no girl, like, emotional yeah. feelings. But, like, J Jay does pain all the time. Mm. But it's from a very, like, aggressive or and very, general yeah. pain. It's mm. not really, like, deep, <coughs> like, deep. Do you mm. know what I mean? And then Brad Where are your will, roots coming from? Yeah, yeah, man. And then Brad, Brad will do it. Brad will make you feel like he's talking to you about his emotions, but he's really not at all. He's just talking to you about one girl. Like, like it's not, <laughs> it's not really like that. So I was like, it'd be interesting to see what they could do. And then once they were kind of, after a while, once they were like, oh, fuck it, we'll just write. Even if we might not lay it, we might not do it. I knew that I had to do a hook that would like, mm. like Tightly. really capture mm. it. Do you get what I'm saying? And no, when I'm dude. doing it, that whole, I don't know. Because initially, we, I didn't know it was going to be Black Men Cry. I just thought wanted to do some pain mm -hmm. type of shit. But when that line comes to me, I was like, yeah. Oh. The Black Men Cry, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's 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 My top one. two. Who I am, fam. This tune here hits my heart to blood. That's a different one. That's a different one. That's when J.R.J. come in and these two are like, yeah, we're cool to do a bossy thing. I was like, whoop, this but is you know what's me. Mad? Let me this step was a whole you know what's different mad? level of bossy, though. Bro. That's what I was about to say, like... What I had in my head for bossy, this became like a level of that like I had I'm not I had to take it back to my roots in church. I had to give it that feel of praise, that feel of thankfulness, <coughs> gratitude for upping. Like even just in this process alone, mm -hmm. I felt like it was it was it was a perfect it, song to rap everything. Yeah, yeah it man. was it was that song perfect. that like we Starting come with, through like, Lord this give me peace and ending and with that. Ending it with like who I am was just like. Felt, Do you feel man. like you went through kind of like yes. a spiritual journey though? Do you know what I mean? One hundred percent. I think yeah. we, there was a moment in that <coughs> session where we were like, oh, bruv, like if we if it wasn't five days and there was the pressure of this, that, and the other, we I feel like it would have been a much more spiritual project in general, in general because yeah. like we would have been able to have a bit more of a storyline that works. Like you've got Lord Gimme Peace and Black Men Cry and like mm -hmm. who I am. <laughs> the other ones are just vibes, you get what I'm saying? But like, it was just, in for me, it was just interesting that that was how we started and this is how we I wonder if you did, if you'd have done, who am I at the start, how different it would have been. Oh Lord. I don't... If we done who I am at the start, I'll be real with you. I don't <coughs> think we would have, the, the beat, I don't think we would have been able to do it justice. Yeah. No. Uh, personally, like That's me, different. myself personally, Talking about the stuff I'm talking about that on that beat, that I wouldn't have been able to have articulated myself in the way mm. that I do. Do you know what? I, I, I feel real. like the more for myself, and maybe you guys will agree, the more I physically declined, like the less energy I felt like I had for some reason, the, the spirit, the opposite. It's almost like yeah, the more the I became, harder it came. the less I became aware of my physical self, like I was less conscious of, and I was just going with it. The more elevated I felt like spiritually. Mm -hmm. from the ego, don't you? Yeah. But that's how yeah. it felt though. I remember I was sat right there, Brad was sat here and we were writing the hook. Yeah. But and it but it just like it was like I think out of all of the sessions, that was probably the one that I felt like me and Brad knew exactly what I we both wanted to say. Mm. So you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it was like cool, I got this line. Uh, cool, this line, this mm -hmm. line, it worked, it worked, and it just kind of pieced together. We we're like, nah, this. It's an anthem, it's beautiful. bro. Like it sounds. Yeah. From now on, I don't want to call that one a song. It's an anthem. Yeah. I liked hearing Jay on the shit. Love my bro. Nah, because, the, because like, for me, it was not, it, that's not something I've heard Jay do before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, that sound is left. If I can say to this. what normal Jay does. As much as we don't talk about feelings, Black Man Cry has elevated you. And you remember that conversation we had, with, I think it was with Wizzy, bro. Mm -hmm. When we were like, you came out of the booth frustrated because you would written be like nah, none of this is gonna work whatever mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and we were just saying i think even Ki and kira was here we were just saying that like you know you haven't you're used to being z at zero emotion so like you're trying to hit 10 but like even if you land at a five that's way more than yeah. what you're used to in it yeah. so i feel like that comes strong on that um, yeah when i heard when i heard that verse come through Jeez. and oh, then alice that. came through with the do you guys mind me taking the 24. yeah the, the spiritual brother. <laughs> I already knew, bro. brother, Alexander the Salafi. So and the, the moment we said, yeah, bro, have a 24. Gone. You bro. already know. And then my come man, back. No, my man didn't just go into there. My man went into his whole own little element. And Fully. bro, you spazzed. Yeah. You spazzed. Fully. You spazzed. 
that. JRJ that, knows, that. bro. When me and him that make them that. type of tunes, the second verse is about to be long as hell because I ain't got enough time to, <laughs> to write what I need nah, to write to in the 16th. So I was like, yeah, okay, just move me a 24. Guys, yeah, I'm, give me like we an, don't hour, need a give sermon. Me like an hour. I'm going downstairs, boy. Let me just sit in the quiet. Like, he about right, to talk some shit. I was, and no. and it, it was real. I do want to say this, though. For everybody that's gonna listen to the project, you might not actually hear who I am. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a slight potential that we might be releasing that one as a separate as a separate entity. Some, I don't some, know. So you some, might some. you might go on there, you might see who I am, you might not. It will be released, that's for hundred percent sure. Late, but yeah. mm. where you know what I mean, is this is it, I just want everyone to know this has been in, we've been done all of this within the kind of like the five days time. So like the project ain't out yet and we're not reflecting on it. Songs ain't even been mixed, mastered, none of that shit. We're Don't still going it. back and forth trying to figure out what the fuck you is going on. But. Mm -hmm. um, no, so I think it's nice to see kind of like that this has taken you all on like a, on a journey yeah. way bigger than I think any of you anticipated. Like oh yeah, of course. Originally it was to make music. Do you know what I mean? It was just to get some like-minded so people to together to yeah. kind of come <coughs> together and see what you could kind of do in mm -hmm. a period of time and actually it's just taking you down a yeah. whole different level like mm. there's can I, can I sorry to cut yeah you there, can I ask you two a quick question yeah. mm -hmm. in your opinion what was your favorite thing that Jay laid and I laid and then same uh, question to you I'll go because I asked the question so I already okay, loaded cool. yeah right, cool. my favorite thing of Bradley's was the hook on who I am easy comfortable Hundred percent, boom, boom. Yours, it's a toss up between your Lord give me peace verse, right. just coming in and it, mm. grateful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, boom, mm -hmm. it was that. Or, or to be honest with you, I always fuck up the bars, bro. So apologies in it, no, but because man, just get me. But it's like. Bit step up, bit pop up, that shit. When man comes sliding in, I ain't got a rush, but I was like, oi, this one here is cold. Yeah, them two. For me, with Jay, it's ah, guava, guava, or ain't got a rush. Guava, ooh, guava, you know. Nah, because the wordplay on listen, the wordplay. You lot, it's gonna go over so, so many people's heads. You're gonna miss it. Get yeah, intellectual okay. with the bars, and then Alex, same track. You said for me, it's got, it's gonna have to be because you just like you said, you wanted that 24, and you delivered every. No mm. bar fell short. Yeah. Mm. So um, obviously, undisputedly, uh, who I am. That 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 24 day, I think, is the hardest 20, the hardest bar, the hardest verse. To come out of the project but yeah brad um i don't know bro i quite like the way that you came in on that on the on the on the on the on the on the, on the painting black man cry i quite like it i think you spun me on that track fam <laughs> nah bro that like, no no cap. that's humble bro. nah i think you spun me <laughs> nah, <that's> <laughs> <humble. laughs> on the track fam i said to be honest i think that wraps it up relatively nicely Famous song. um I'm gonna let you guys actually go and get some sleep. I wanna like, know everyone's favorite song. I know. Oh. Do you know what? You can instead just come with your favorite bar. My favorite of my own. Of the song, oh. it could be someone else's. Okay. Mine's one. Your one. Um, let them I started doing things. Uh, the, the purpose bar and Lord give me peace. Oh, I finally found peace. Uh, That's a result of finding purpose. Mine for you it would be your bar. On. What's the last bar on Guava? The Drake oh. one. That's gonna. Oh yeah, passion me. fruit is. Um, yeah. Passion, yeah, passion fruit. Passion fruit. That yeah. Drake. Uh, she's my only one from Mars. Mars yeah. Hard. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> Hard. Yeah. I can't lie, I might have to be a bit selfish on this one. Well, it, no, no. I feel like for me, my favorite thing on the whole project is when I said, "If she could see me now, I wonder what my nan would say." That one there hit me on quite. Do you know what I'm saying? Bro, if she could see me now, I wonder what my nan would say. It's a message at the pearly gates. Yeah, yeah I'm nah, that one when there. I at the pearly gates. That, that one there. That one was. That one got me involved. Yeah, oh, that one there. That one there. That one was a tough one. R. Or, R. or I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> the end of Lord, give me peace. I'm always trying to teach me what I do it for. I make music for, for these, these niggas, niggas at the, the corner, corner store. store. They be Come serving raw, but they be wanting more. Come on. I find peace helping you put numbers on the board. Wow. I'm going to ask you a really difficult question to end shit. with. 
All right. What do you think she'd say if she saw you now? Hmm. Fucking hell, man. Um. Oh, Tori's gonna set me off. Wait. <laughs> um. Do you know what? Yeah, I don't even feel like I can answer that question properly. I feel like I know I know what I would feel mm -hmm. if she saw me now. And I think it would probably it'd be like my nan you all oh, my fuck with my music. Oh like she's your nan in it. She's always gonna back it, but like I feel like out of everyone, like my nan really knew She got it. Yeah, do you get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And like my nan being a bootlegger when she was younger, like that's all my the sample bag like she really got me into that so i think like now that i'm actually like really pursuing it properly and i'm making the music that feels comfortable to me like, for me there's almost like this sadness that like she's not here to hear that shit because the stuff that she's listening she's heard mm. is like old when i wasn't really like i didn't really know who i was as a person so like probably that probably just uh, for me it's just a sadness that like she can't actually hear well, I guess what you've got that to think shit, about you know like, with all these guys obviously you've been at the start of pretty much everyone's journey mm. and you've always seen their potential you don't need to see the finished product yeah man that's true that's, that's do you know what I mean like, especially when you're into music yeah I think she'd just be proud of me man hundreds she would she just mm -hmm. loved me so much man I think that's what kills me off like she was so not to like do you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. not to diverge too much but she bro she loved me so the love that she had for me was fucking it was it was crazy bro i don't know i don't like letting people down in it but when they look then they really believe in me and some shit so like, like i don't feel like i let her down but like not being able to like be at that point where i've achieved what i know i can do and her to see that she's seen it yeah but she do you know what i'm saying yeah, like, know almost to me to be there to experience it with it <coughs> it's like her passing I don't know. The first person I thought about was my other grandma. And I was like, bruv, I can't do this. Like, this mm -hmm. can't happen again, bruv. Like, I've got to, this. This got to be patterned before she, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Before she passes. There's so much I want her to see and be involved in. And I was like, nah, man, i got to get this. i got to get it, bruv. <laughs> I've got to get it, fam. So I don't really think I need to ask this question, but would you advise other people to do this? Of course. <laughs> yeah, man. Get your sleep. Yeah, but do this get, but get your sleep just don't underestimate it bro it's a yeah. question bro yeah, yeah. Easy, fam. it will make you realise who you are yeah, boy yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you've got some real testicles in between your <laughs> some real cojones yeah, yeah, you know yeah, some real Colombia shit yeah, man <laughs> oh, me, so raw, so on that note raw. I think they're tired <laughs> so thank you for watching appreciate you in a bit